name is Bethany and this is my channel Bethany's Thoughts. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing an impromptu book shopping vlog, bookstore slash library. So today I have the day off. Since I have this impromptu holiday, I thought I would go out in the community, in life, in the, in the world. <laughs> go to go to two places. First I want to go to the library. So my city's library just recently reopened for the public only certain locations did and it's open to browsing so I kind of want to go and just see what they have I'm not necessarily don't think I'm gonna get anything but we'll see one of the things I really want to check out is manga today I don't think I'm gonna buy any books or bring any books but we'll see um but definitely manga is I think is my goal I just kind of want to see what the library has and see what they have to offer I have no idea what my library collection is of manga is and it's really confusing to navigate it online. So I figure if I just physically go, I mean, granted, because my city library is so huge, I can request from different things from the library and get things that are requested. But I don't know what popular series they really even have. And because like when I initially was looking, when I was initially doing my manga April reading, I looked for Sweat and Soap. I looked for some of the more romancy titles and they didn't really have them. So I'm just kind of curious to see what they actually do have. I feel like physically going will give me an idea of what's available and just to see. Then I'm going to a place called Book Off. They have a book selection, but they also do DVDs and have a huge manga selection. And it's located in the more Asian area of my city. I visited there before and I kind of wanted to go back. Also take books back. And I have a couple of books that I was going to give back and see if they give me credit for or not. We'll see. I've never bought a book back there, so I'm just kind of curious. One of them is manga, and so I was like, oh, I'll just take them, take, and I have two or three. And I was like, I'll just take them back and see what they, if they give me anything for them? I don't know. We'll find out. And also to see what kind of manga they have as well. Because um, I don't think I'm going to get any books. I have too many on my shelves right now. The shell, my shelves are just ridiculous. I need to read more of my shelves. So I'm trying, trying to do a book banning, not book banning, trying to limit my book buying right now. That might not be entirely successful, but I am going to make a effort. So that's my plan. I don't know if I'm going to add anything else to that. We're going to go with that, and you can join me on my trip into the library and into Book Off, and we'll go from there and see what happens. <laughs>
I didn't film a whole heck of a lot because there was a lot of people in there and also their manga sections were kind of small. You saw the adult manga was hardly any and then young adult had more but not necessarily a lot of the start of the series that I was looking for. But this one is in the new section and I picked this one up. So I know Rainbow Rowell is kind of on the outs right now but I really liked Fangirl. I think I identified with Fangirl. I was her in college, only less annoying. <laughs> or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it was just as annoying without the fan fiction. That was, that was me in college. So I don't know. I thought I'd check it out and I would kind of want to see what they did with it um, in, in a gothic novel manga way. They brought the book sale back. The book sale guys in the front that I, that you saw in the beginning. I, that made me so happy because that's been gone for so long, so it was really nice to see the book sale back. I didn't really see anything that I wanted to get right now, but I have gotten plenty at that book sale. I think my recent collection of all the Nora Roberts was from that book sale, <laughs> so yes. Um, so yeah, so I just got one, more than I thought I was going to get, and at least there's a couple of series that I saw that they had that I've been interested in, but just didn't have the most number one volume, so the fact that they had multiple numbers though was good. That means I probably can put something on hold and reserve and get something from another library. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure if this particular, if maybe there's better Malanga selections to browse at in different locations. I would imagine probably so. So I would have to do more research and figure out what might be the best location. So yeah. Other than that, um, I think off to book off and go from there. I'll be back.
welcome back. Hi. So, uh, that one was kind of a bust. Unfortunately, they had a great selection of manga, but the problem was is that a lot of the manga they had, because it's used bookstores and because it's all buyback, I was looking for specific ones. Some of the ones that I'm looking for are kind of older. So probably in a buyback situation, some of those probably haven't been bought back recently. So there was more, lot, I think generally more recent ones, but not as recent as I was looking for. Does that make sense? As well as the big problem with the used and the buyback is a lot of them that were series didn't have volume one. So there was several series that I found that I was like, oh, that's one that I'm interested in checking out. But they didn't have volume one. They had like volume three or four or 10. And I was like, I can't, I can't start with those. <laughs> so that was kind of a bust for the ones that I actually wanted to check out, which is fine because that is okay. I'm right across the way from a ramen place. It is crazy hot. Well, it's not hot. It's warm. But it's super humid, which makes it even hotter, which is weird. Humidity doesn't happen in San Diego. Global warming. Anyway, but there's ramen, and ramen sounds really good right now, even though it's hot, which is weird. But I think I'm going to get takeout, and I'm going to go home, and then I will debrief at home of... My final decision of what I'm going to do, because I think what I'm going to, I'm going to do is when I get home, I think I'm going to go on my library website and request a few on hold. So hopefully that works out and we'll go from there. Okay, so I will be back. Hello, I'm back. So I had my ramen, I just finished, I was doing some laundry, and watched the live show on Heather's channel about dark romance, and then I forgot about my laundry, and <laughs> put my laundry in the dryer, and now I'm here, and now I'm back. So what I just did is I was looking through my library to see what they have. Unfortunately, it does not look like, a lot of what they have on reserve, it looks like it's a lot of older manga. They don't usually get new releases, it looks like. Which makes sense, because manga does release a lot in a short span of time. And also, there's certain series that aren't as popular as others, so it makes sense. So the two that I ended up putting up, was able to put on hold that were I was low-key interested in checking out was uh, Yona of the Dawn, which is a fantasy romance manga that I was strongly recommended. It's by Mizuho Kusanagi. And then... I was told this is the original one of the OG of romance mangas, and that's Fruits Basket. And I've heard of Fruits Basket before. I know it's really popular. I've seen it many, many times over the years. And they had an omnibus edition that I also put on hold, and that is Fruits Basket. Fruits Basket by Natsuki Takaya. I will see. I will see about getting that one and see when it arrives. These both came out in 2016. Lisa's at least the Fruits Basket Collector's Edition that's Omnibus, that's Omnibus 1, it came out in 2016. So I'm number four and number three on on hold for these. So we'll see when they come in and then they'll arrive and then I'll do, we'll check them out and just see, just get, so I just get a sense of it and feel of them. One series I was really wanting to check out was Sacrificial Princess and the Beast or and Her Kingdom of Beasts or something like that. Library does not have it. I wasn't able to find it at Book Off, which was one of the ones I definitely wanted to see if I could find. I haven't been able to, so I don't know about that one. I'm not sure how I'm going to access that one because that's one I really was kind of hoping to look for, but in any case, that's okay. So yeah, I think I'm going to just close the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was fun for you. Thank you so much for joining me. List down in the comment what your favorite bookstore is. <laughs> Especially if your favorite independent bookstore or your favorite library. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw and want to see more bookish things from me, please subscribe and hit likes and bells. I would really appreciate it. As well as follow me on all the things. I have all my social medias linked down below and you can check me out on those. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye!